So the one thing I've realized whilst traveling is just how much data this little guy is actually sending and receiving without my knowledge. And it's obviously sucking up my international bandwidth, which is costing a small fortune. And I want to stop that. And in fact, I want my phone to be nice and fast and do the things I wanted to do. So today I'm going to show you a bunch of tips and tricks that I'm using at the moment whilst traveling to save on those bandwidth, get that phone faster. And let me show you how you can do that too. And welcome to another Talking Tech with the Techie Guy. My name is Liron Segev, where I make tech simple. If you're into phones, gadget apps, tips and tricks and how to, hit that subscribe button and let's get on to today's show. So I guess the one thing that I take for granted is when I'm back home in the US, I've got unlimited data on my phone and that's amazing. And yes, I have taken that for granted because now traveling around Europe and well, it's a bit of a problem since I'm paying for every megabyte that leaves my phone. So I'm looking for options, I'm looking for solutions, I'm looking for things that will work whilst I'm traveling. And then for the people who only use their mobile and has got expensive mobile cost and data cost, these tips are gonna help you as well. So let's do this. One of the best ways to actually save your sanity and your phone's data is by using the light app of certain popular applications like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Here is what I mean. Here is Facebook, right? But now you open up the light version. Go look for Facebook light in your app store and it looks and functions exactly the same as your normal application. The only difference is it doesn't use as much memory, doesn't constantly communicate with data and you just use it when you need to. In fact, you can fire up a web browser, go to facebook.com and get virtually the same experience. So that's one way to save already on your sanity and your data. Let's do another example. So here is something like, I don't know, Instagram. Let's fire that up. And there's my normal Instagram app that's installed on my phone. And this, of course, is constantly being updated and communicating with the Instagram server. However, I can go to Instagram.com on a web browser and add a shortcut to my desktop. And there it is. It's a light version of Instagram. I get exactly the same information. I can watch stories. I can comment. I can heart. I can do hashtags. I can upload. I can do absolutely everything I can normally do with my Instagram, except this time I'm doing it through the web browser and I get to control the experience. So I guess it does turn out that we use a lot of applications on our phones that we actually don't need when we can simply fire up a web browser and it does the exact same thing. Go ahead and do that. Do that for a couple of days and then you'll realize just how much control you actually lose by installing those apps. If your phone has been slowing down over time, it's obviously because you're using up more and more of the storage space for videos and photos and large files. So if in your phone application, go find something like file cleanup or storage cleanup run that and remove some of the very large files freeing up as much space as possible allowing the operating system as much room as possible so you get a nice fast running phone and if you don't want to use your phone's cleanup application or it doesn't have one like a device management feature of some sorts well fine go ahead and download something called cm light i like to use the light version and it will run the same type of cleanup here it is showing me all the junk files all the things that i can safely remove but of course my normal disclaimer applies make sure you back up your phone at all times before running any things of this nature now, another cool feature that this particular app does have is that it looks at your temperature on your phone now, typically when you have an app that's running a lot of processes, a lot of data has been sent and received, it's like running in the background. That was going to use up a lot of battery power, which basically means your phone heats up a lot. Now, this will look for those applications and if it finds any, it will warn you so that you know that you can safely get rid of that application, shut it down. Of course, you're going to have to see some ad, but it's well worth it. Another place to get some more oomph out of your phone is when you play with the battery settings and there's something called adaptive battery on the Google Pixel 3a and essentially it looks at your background application and optimizes things that need to be working and things that don't need to be working go on the back burner. Now other devices have something similar like device management. Go ahead and find it in your phone under settings, under battery or under power. Now, another thing that might look minor, but actually can have quite a serious impact on your data and your phone's connectivity is widgets. Now, if you've got lots of widgets running on these various screens, if there isn't a reason for them to be constantly updating, just get rid of them and then fire up the app when you want that information. 
wow, I cannot tell you how many people I meet that are still not doing this. They are still not updating their phones to the latest software. Why? It's 2019. There's so many bugs being reported. So many applications are being fixed. So many root core processes are being updated. If you're not updating your phones, you're simply not getting the best out of your device. If you want to talk more about all this how to save data and faster internet, check out some of these videos down here. Smash that subscribe button if this is your first time here. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. And in fact, I'll see you over there.